Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back with another video, and this video today is going to be a different kind of video. So as you can see here, uh, I'm coming to you live from Houston, Texas. Uh, we're going to Super Bowl 51, so get excited about that. I know I'm excited. Uh, and so what I thought I was going to do is just try to make like a, a vlog, if you will. I believe that's the correct usage uh, of that terminology of the trip. So just show uh, the stadium. We'll be going there, of course, for the game. Uh, different attractions, different things. Just to try to do something different and uh, kind of show off what's going on here. Uh, so this is the George Bush uh, Airport in Texas. I'll just go ahead and show you the inside. Uh, I've never been to this airport before. I don't know if they've got like tax breaks at this airport or not. But nonetheless, this is the George Bush uh, airport here just showing you kind of cloudy weather so what I was actually going to do was start off the video uh, with a, like a video of the landing because I know uh, we do a lot of those with x-plane and different things like that but it is so damn cloudy here that I, I was like literally holding the camera for an hour waiting to see anything and uh, unfortunately it did not work out but anyways we're here so I say my legs are just sore as hell uh, from sitting on this plane over here that I just got off uh, I, got, like, I gotta stretch out, it's gonna be like friggin' Nadia Coleman each when I stretch over here, like some Olympic stretching is about to take place uh, here in a second. I felt like the pilot was kind of trolling me, what happened was we landed and he just kind of drove the plane around for like half an hour uh, on the runway. I don't know if he's gonna like drive it to Dallas on the ground or something like it's a car, I don't know. Anyways, what we're gonna go do now is we're gonna go pick up some wheels here uh, so we can get to where we're going. We're not gonna do it GTA style, I can promise you that. Because uh, th this is Texas. We're in the deep south in America. You don't screw around down here, uh, as they say. So anyways, we're going to go do that, and I should have more to come, and I'll make another video when we get there. All right, thanks. Check all this stuff out. They got the banners put up and everything. Like, they were put what the hell is that? What is that? Somebody back there, I don't know. Look at this. They even got, they got the banners on the, the elevators, like, starting at the airport. Like, we're not even near the stadium. They already got the stuff figured out. Uh, like they were kind of counting on everybody coming in for the game. They got look at all the banners. We'll go down the escalator here. Uh, it's good to get down to the car rentals. Let's just look at this. They got it all down here too. Like they got all the you know the the branding, all the signage, uh, if you will, over here. Look at that. They even they even have like the uh, like what is that? Like the the mats over here are like themed for the game. The NFL man, they got it all figured out. All right, so here's the wheels we're picking up here. This looks like Franklin's Buffalo uh, from GTA is what we're going to be picking up here. Pretty pretty cool. I'm thinking this car here, this is a, uh, it looks like, it's going to look like it's got quite a bit under the hood. Let's go ahead and pop the trunk, put the bag. All right, so you have to open it from inside for some reason. I don't know why that is. Trying to find the button here. There we go. That should do it. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and put the bag uh, in the trunk. There we go. Shut that. Get inside here, start this puppy up, see what we got. Yeah, we got some serious heat under the hood here. We got some, quite a bit of firepower here. See what we got. This is uh, trying to get oriented here. See what's going on. This car smells brand new. The guy at the counter said this was brand new. It's got three miles on it, so pretty cool. All right, so we just got to check out here. We're going to drive to this gate and, like, show them my, I don't know what they want. Like, your ID and your, your I don't know, like, your license and your blood type. I don't know what they want, but we'll go ahead and get this thing checked out and get on our way. Look at that. So they're welcoming you here. They got the welcome uh, to Houston side. Very nice here. I've noticed from the people I've talked to so far, it's, like, very, very hospitable here. Very nice to you. Just got to pay attention to where I'm going here. So the GPS is telling me to go out onto here. All right, so now we're on the open road. We're up on the highway here. You can see downtown Houston to our right. So I'm just trying, I'm trying to like drive with this one hand and kind of hold the camera uh, with the other. But but as you can see, uh, downtown Houston's right here. I can see the stadium. We'll go ahead and zoom it in. I don't think that's where we're going. I think that's the baseball stadium down here. From if, if I'm correct, I'm not sure. I believe that's what that is. Uh, anyways, we're gonna be getting off up here. We're heading to downtown Houston to get all checked in. So we're gonna be getting off up here. All right, so I got checked in. I ate dinner, and we're heading uh, over to the stadium right now just to check it out, try to get like a, a night before glimpse of what's going on. Uh, you can see they've got it all lit up here. Not a lot of traffic. I was really expecting traffic out the wazoo, to be honest with you, and there's really nothing. You can see they've got it all set up uh, for tomorrow, but there's really not uh, a lot going on now. So I'm going to try to find a place to park, which is probably going to be a disaster, uh, and try to walk over to the stadium. I don't know if they let you in uh, the night before, but we'll check it out. All right, so I'm not sure if you... I, I don't think you need a ticket to get into here. I mean, you don't need a ticket to see how awesome this is. Look at that. That is pretty cool, huh? So uh, we're going to go through here. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen once I go through. I mean, it seems like people are doing stuff back there, so I assume you can get in. It seems like they got some sort of gates. Um, but anyways, that's... That's it. So you can see it's all kind of decked out. 
Very nice stadium, by the way. I'm not sure when they built it, but uh, it's really nice. So uh, anyways, I'll go ahead and put the camera away, and I'll try to get in here and uh, get you some more shots. All right, I just took a wrong turn trying to get off of downtown Houston and, like, somehow ended up in East Baltimore. Like, I really don't know. I mean, you can see the stadium there. I'm, like, kind of over in quite a rough part of town. I don't know if they're, like, selling G-Packs over here. It was quite a quite a rough neighborhood. But anyways, I'm trying to get to downtown Houston here because they said that's where all the action is. So we're going to get down here. Uh, I heard parking's a disaster, but we'll try to see what we can see. All right, so we're finally here. I mean, trying to park here. This was like the end of the Incredibles, trying to find a place to park. Uh, so this is downtown Houston. You can see the spotlights there. Uh, the building, it says LI for, for 51. Uh, we're finally here. I've been, been like following these spotlights f just to figure out where to go for the last two hours, uh, but I'm pretty sure that uh, it's over there. So we're gonna wait for this light here and then try to get up there and uh, see what's going on. All right, so right now we're behind, this is like some ESPN show that they're recording. So if you ever watch these shows and you like look behind and there you can like see a crowd, I guess this is this is where they film it. On the other side, there's some, some party, some concert over here that's loud and annoying. Um, but anyways, you can see they're recording some sort of show uh, for ESPN right here. I, think, I don't think it's recording now. I think they're on commercial because like they keep, I've been watching that they keep like coming up and changing stuff. Uh, but it's very interesting that this is where they do it. They got it all fenced off uh, for sure. So I'm just going to try to keep walking around over here trying to figure out what you can see. All right, so we got the Toyota Center here, home of the Houston Rockets. This is where they play. Uh, and they've kind of got like these weird concert sort of event RV roped off things that I can't figure out. How you get in there? You can see they got the buildings lit up uh, with the, with, you know, the branding there for the Super Bowl. I don't know how they pull all this stuff off. It's really uh, ridiculous. Anyways, right here where we're standing, this is a statue uh, commemorating Akeem Olajuwon, a uh, great NBA player for the Houston Rockets of uh, years ago. So we're just gonna walk around here, showing you that. I don't know if there's a game on right now. Like there couldn't be. I don't know how you could have a game on with all this going on. But it seems like there's quite a buzz inside. Uh, so anyways, I think we're gonna head back here uh, and get ready for tomorrow. All right, so check this out. So we're at the Houston Space Center. They've just got like a friggin' this. This looks like the plane from the GTA video that I tried to land on the aircraft carrier. Uh, it's just here. So this is a 747 with the spaceship mounted on the top. I'm going to try to get in here. I believe you can get in. Some guy just told me you can actually go into that thing. Uh, so it's going to be very interesting to check out. But anyways, we're going to head on uh, into the Space Center while we're down here. And hopefully, uh, you know, Houston doesn't have any problems. If you get the... That's a terrible pun. I'm sorry. Uh, but anyways, we're going to go in here. Uh, probably going to have to buy tickets. And we're going to walk around and check out what is going on. But this thing's really cool for sure. Especially if you can walk up inside of it. Uh, which I believe you can. So let's go ahead on in and check it all out. All right, so we're inside the Space Museum right now. I mean, I gotta say, I'm not a huge space uh, person. I don't know if that's the right term. You know what I mean? Like, there's people like, like the movie The Martian who get all into the space sort of thing. It's never really been the case with me. But I'll tell you right now, being here totally makes you like space. Like, it makes it so cool, uh, the inside of this place, just because it's so awesome. You check out all the stuff they've got in here. Uh, spaceships, I don't even know what that is. They've got that up there. Uh, like, odd interpretive art space stuff. What, what does this say here? It's like a... So some... some Okay, so it's like some space suit somebody designed. Very cool. Uh, but they really do a good job of this stuff, and it makes it really interesting and awesome. So check this out. we got some more space suits here. Man, these are awesome up close and personal. Like, it's really weird. I wasn't expecting them to just put, like, actual stuff in the museum, which I know is kind of odd. But it's, like, all here. Like, real spaceships are just here. we got some other space suit. This is kind of like the evolution of it. All right, so now we're heading out here to actually go in that plane that we saw a little bit earlier there. This damn door doesn't open. All right, there we go. Look at that. Up close and personal, too. I mean, this, this looks just like the thing I land on the aircraft carrier in GTA V. It looks just like it. Let's head on up and check it out. Oh my god, these stairs are killing me. These stairs are gonna kill me here. I, these stairs are friggin' unbelievable here. You'd think they have like an escalator or something so you can get up here, but man, these stairs are just killing me. But we're almost there, so we're gonna get up here and check it out, see what we got uh, inside of this thing here. I think pretty soon I'm gonna have to boldly go to the bathroom if you catch my drift. Here we go, finally at the top. I was really starting to feel the burn there, but uh, anyways, here we go. Look at this thing. This thing is awesome, and uh... 
We got some more stairs, as you can see, but you can see the side of it. This is, it's an actual spaceship that was in space. It's right here. I can't, it's kind of weird, like, I can't believe that. Like, it seems like that's not something you'd see, but here it is. It's been in space, and we're here to see it. Let's head on in and check the thing out. All right, so here we go. You can see they got it all, uh, all, all marked off here, so even somebody knows nothing about space travel like me can figure out. It's a very cool interior. Look at this. So this is the inside of the plane. Now, this is... I, I should be pretty good at this from all those, you know, plane landings I did in GTA V. This is basically... Uh, you kind of got to figure out the right wind speed and, like, weight and stuff to make this thing fly. All right, so now we're heading out of the plane. I just checked a bunch of stuff. I think it says, please don't sit on it. I don't know who's, like, going into space and sitting on this door. All right, this room is very cool and very creepy. So this is like a like a moon exhibit here. They're showing you what it was like on the moon. Very creepy. I'm trying to keep my voice down, actually. It's pretty loud. It's very quiet in this room. There's nobody in here, so I can tell it was very cool anyway. So I'll keep checking this. Look at that. It's moon rock here. All right, so now we're at the game. Check it out. It is very packed here. I just had to walk through uh, some, some sketchy neighborhoods to, to park and get here, mainly because I don't want to pay for parking. It was quite the hike to get here. This is uh, the gate. I'm recording this mainly so that when it's time to leave and find the car when it's like pitch black out, I can do that. All right, so we just went through the gate. They just like they pat you down, they check your tickets, they you know check you out and all that. So we're, anyways, we're going in here. A lot of a lot of stairs so far. Uh, anyways, we're going to walk over to this bridge and into the stadium. They're probably going to make me... No one that I felt, they're probably going to want you to go through a gift shop here. But uh, anyways, let's get on in. Here we go. Just more climbing, more stairs, more ramps. Uh, it, the energy here is electric. Yeah, here we go. This is the place you can see. Everybody's packing in here. It's about an hour before the game. About an hour before the game. We wanted to get here early because I figured it would be crowded just like this. Here it is! Here we are inside the game. There's our seat right here. I have no idea what those Ladies things are. What, what is that they're wheeling out? What is that? Pretty odd. So what do we got now? Okay, so we're gonna sing. Is that what we're doing? Okay, so we're gonna sing. So we're gonna all right, so the halftime show just ended. I don't know why they're shutting this roof. I don't know how the smoke's gonna get out of here. There's so much smoke you can barely see. All right, I just want to say whatever happens on this play right here, this is like the greatest Super Bowl I ever saw. Okay, so I think, all right, so that was, was that P.I. on that one? Here we go. I mean, I'll tell you right now, this is, I honestly don't know what I, I've seen here for the last few hours. This is the greatest game I ever saw, I'm going to say. Uh, I just kind of tweeted about it there. I don't know what's going to happen here. This is the greatest thing I ever saw. Anyways, here we go. All right, what are we doing here with this one? They, so I think they just got the P.I. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 